Well, hello there, peoples of the interwebs, and welcome back to a new... Okay, well, I guess not welcome back, but welcome to a new series that I'm going to be calling Minecraft Hardcore, but in a super flat. Uh, so I saw, like, a few of my favorite YouTube creators doing this, and I thought, you know what, this could be a cool idea. So, yeah, uh, it it's a bit difficult, because as you can see, there's, like, literally nothing around us except for slimes. Uh, that that's not good. Though, uh, the, the, the way to beat this is usually to find the village, so I'm gonna go do that. Okay, I think I found the village, uh, or at least a village, but uh, it looks like quite a sizable one. Uh, so let's go see what interesting loot we can find there. Just have to dodge all of the slimes. Uh, this is, this is not an ideal situation exactly. But yeah, this looks like a nice quaint little village. I can get some wood and some trees to get some saplings. Uh, I don't see any farms just yet. Which is not a good thing, because I need, like, a source of food. But it's okay, we'll figure it out, we'll figure it out. We have an iron golem over here that's protecting us and killing all of the slime. Killing all of the slime. I think I'm intruding on these guys' conversation. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Okay, never mind, there is a farm. Oh, what type of farm is this? It's just normal, like, it's just a normal wheat farm. That's okay, I mean, at least we can, you know, get some bread then. That is good. Oh, and some cows! That is really good, along with the wheat. Yeah. This is an absurd amount of slime balls. Like, genuinely, it's scary the amount of slimes that spawn on a super flat. I think we have a library over here. I'm not too familiar with all of the villager houses, though there's a librarian on the inside, so I think this is a library. Yeah, yeah, this is a library. I can't remember if they have loot. No, the answer is no. Going to be honest, I'm struggling to find like a house with anything in it. <laughs> Almost all of these houses are empty. You know, like, there's just beds and stuff on the inside. You are a big boy. So are you. Uh, let's just, let's just try and avoid the big boys. Well, I guess might as well get some wood, you know, while we're here. Uh, you know, do some basic Minecrafting. Okay, so I kind of made myself, or I, I kind of broke down a house and got some cobblestone. So let's make ourselves, not, not a hoe. Okay, what I wanted to make was a sword. Okay, so we got a stone sword. Uh, now let's make ourselves... A pickaxe. And then finally, probably the most important, an axe. Okay, I'm not sure if this is the same farm. I think it is, but it's not wheat. It's potatoes, it turns out. There's some wheat over on that side, though. So, and I think those are carrots or beetroots. I'm not entirely sure. But yeah, here's some potatoes over here. So let's, let's harvest some potatoes. Okay, well, the sun is starting to set. So I think I'm just going to go into one of these houses. Not the one that I broke down, you know, like not that one. But a different house and just sleep here for the night. Okay, I guess I'll sleep in this house tonight. I mean, it's right next to the church. What could go wrong? <laughs> Anyways, let's just go onto the inside. Oh, it's quite nice in here. There's a little white bed. Ah, let's get into the bed. Whoa, what's going on? Well, I don't think we're in Kansas anymore, but uh, yeah, I don't know what happened. I just went to sleep and woke up in this strange alternate universes. There's like almost no blocks or bricks or anything around. This is strange. I don't like that. I need I need my squares. Wait, there's some squares. Okay, yeah. we, we have some squares at least, but still not enough. We need more squares. Though I guess we should maybe try and complete our challenge, you know, surviving in a super fat world while we're on hardcore mode. Because, to be honest, this place seems very empty. And uh, I'm pretty sure if we die here, we die, you know, fully, like, completely just dead. Yeah, welcome to Minecraft super flat hardcore mode, but it's in The Sims. Now, I know this is probably a stupid idea, but uh, I wanted to see if I could maybe, you know, make like a little sim series on the side. Because I like playing Minecraft, don't get me wrong. But I do want to incorporate some other games into the channel. You know, that's, uh, I think that's quite fun. I don't want to limit myself to just one game. So, because of that, today we're going to play a bit of The Sims. You know, we're starting on... Okay, wait, I should actually give myself no money. Hold on a second. Alright, and like that, we have a zero dollars to our name. So, uh, first episode, we're just going to go around and collect a bunch of money. And then see if we can make ourselves a little, you know, starter base. Don't know if we're going to be that successful at this, because I'm not, you know, the best Sims player I used to just build in the game. So, we'll see. We'll see how we can make money, you know, having absolutely nothing. <laughs> so, I guess, firstly, we should maybe try go fishing. You know, that's a way to make money. Uh, while he's going to be fishing, you know, getting us some fish that we can both sell and eat. Uh, I'm going to look around and see if there's any, like, you know, rubble or frog logs or anything like that that I can make some, you know, stuff from to sell. So, uh... 
yeah, I'll, I'll check back in once I'm done with all of that. Okay, so I did find a few things, but not really that much. Uh, he's still fishing though. But uh, I am noticing that we at least have a bathroom here, so that's taken care of. And we have some benches and uh, over... Where was it? Here we go. Uh, there's some other benches over here. You know, so we have some sleeping areas. I don't have food exactly. Uh, no way to clean myself, but I guess we'll, we'll we'll figure that out as time goes on. We might have to go to like the library or something, <laughs> maybe even break into somebody's house. Uh, yeah, just like just like we do in Minecraft usually. <laughs> okay, so he found quite a lot of things. Firstly, he found a treasure map. You know, just like kind of how we find treasure maps in Minecraft, and uh, there's even a sunken ship nearby, so it kind of makes sense. But yeah, I'll, I'll go explore the treasure map a bit later. We just find this crystal as well. I do think. That if you um, like get them cut, they sell for more money. But I don't have time for that, so I'm just going to sell the crystal. Uh, we also found some uh, leaf frogs. I'm going to keep two of them to breed. And then one of them I'm going to sell for some money. And uh, then we found phosonites, apparently. Which is, I guess, another gem. So we're going to sell that as well. But what do you do with the treasure map? You can place it in the world, I guess. Wait, can I maybe? So I accidentally placed it down and uh, now I can't pick it up again because it says it doesn't, I don't own the item. So that's fun. That's a waste of $80 over there. I keep saying dollars. It's actually simoleons. But anyways, uh, let's get to some frog breeding. Now, I've never really done this before. I just do know that, you know, that it makes money. And I'm not sure what frogs are supposed to breed with each other. I'm just going to breed these two with each other and see. Okay, so you basically just get an extra frog out of it. Okay. Oh, I sold both of them. That was not that was not what I wanted to do. Now we need to get another frog. All right. So I've decided to come to this uh, beautiful park over here and see if we can find any resources here. I know here's a pond. You know, so let's just let's just start going. Oh, we can look for frogs as well. We'll do that later. Uh, so yeah, I'm just gonna scour the area and see what I can find. This is probably going to seem very cheap, but I'm taking this food with me as I need food, so yeah. Alright, so we're home now, and uh, seeing as how I can cook myself food in the park, I'm just going to buy myself a bed, as uh, that's one of the only things I can really afford. Uh, do we go for the pricey bed, or do we save some money? Let's save some money, I think, yeah, let's save some money. But yeah, we're going to buy ourselves a bed, so we're going to at least have a place to sleep tonight. And uh, we do have a place to go to the bathroom, so that's sorted. We just maybe need to get like a shower or sink or something to wash ourselves off. But other than that, all of our needs are pretty much met. Okay, so we managed to collect a few more frogs. We have two spotted leaf frogs now, uh, two sunflower frogs, and then just a normal eggplant frog, uh, or the spotted eggplant frog at least, and the surface leaf frog. So I'm going to see if I can breed some more of them and see what that gets. We also found this box, so I'm going to have them open the box. Okay, so we found this toy... Uh, okay, well it sells for 75, which is quite a lot of money, so let's rather sell the toy. So, uh, we've got enough money to basically afford a shower and a toilet, so he is gonna do it out here in the open, uh, while this, this person over here, Mortimer Goth, oh, that's not good, that's not so good. But anyways, while Mortimer Goth and this little child watches, but it's okay, at least he now has a- oh, oh, he's immediately getting into the shower. Alright, so it's the next day, quite a while later. And uh, we, we actually managed to get quite a lot of money, mainly because I found this frog, the eggplant whirl frog, and uh, it sells for about 100 simoleons. I then bred this frog with the spotted, no, with the sunflower frog, and then I managed to get this frog, the whirly flower frog, whatever. Uh, so now we have these two, and I'm just going to continuously breed them and get a lot of money and get a lot of, you know, frogs and stuff like that. But yeah, we got basically another 500 simoleons, so we can upgrade a little bit. Not much though, but we can maybe give him like a, a fridge, I guess. Alright guys, well I think this is what I'm going to call it, you know, seeing my sad sim look at the sad frogs next to the sad fridge and the open bathroom. <laughs> uh, we, we actually got quite a lot done, I mean we made about a thousand simoleons more or less, and we managed to buy, you know, a bed, a fridge, a bathroom setup, basically everything we need. Uh, we also got some very expensive frogs that we can now breed up and sell, so yeah, uh, hopefully I catch you guys in the next episode, whenever that may be. But until then, have awesome times, and uh, please leave a like if you so wish. I will see you guys next time, whenever that is. I already said that. Goodbye.